guys. First of all, welcome back to Carmen Farms. Um, if you watched the last one, seen it rain, we're kind of waiting over the weekend. Um, we got more rain, which is and that was a really good thing. I had an inch at my house. I don't know, everywhere else looks like it probably had close to that too. At least a half inch or more. So, all in all, we had a really good rainfall. Everything's good and wet. Which is wonderful. So that means now we can get the tractor or get the planter out, which means we have to get everything out of this building. The grain cart, two combines. Yeah. That's basically everything. We'll leave the header, header trailer header over there. Oh. So yeah, as soon as she warms up here, we will get this done. But it's looking it's good. It's very good. All right, let's get this done. Good there. Uh, so that should be good for most all the pre-emerge 
and burn down uh, on all the corn. We should be able to start planting and then we'll come back in later with some post and, and do that way. Um, but right now you might be thinking, well, you're in the wheat field. Yes, we're in the wheat field. Um, wheat is looking good. We have had to turn the irrigation on and watered a little bit on it, put an inch, a little over an inch on it. Some of it's gotten up close to two inches with the irrigation system. Uh, and then we got got that rain, and so we shut everything down. And uh, well, actually, we didn't get the rain. It got cold again, so I shut everything down. Uh, and it just kind of stayed cool. But yeah, so this weed is looking pretty good. Uh, we're some of it has set to flag leaf, and some of it is real close to putting the flag leaf out. Um, so we're just putting down a little bit of uh, some some fungicide. Um, this one's got a couple modes of action to help combat any diseases out there and, and just strengthen it, strengthen the, the wheat plant along with we're putting a little bit more uh, nitrogen and some sulfur, copper, and some carbon. Uh, it's, it's just kind of a fun little mix that we got going on with it. But we were a little light on fertilizer, so I, I went ahead and put down. Normally, I just have this an airplane come across and put a fungicide on. But where I knew I needed a little bit more nitrogen, I went ahead and just decided to go with the ground rig. So yeah, we're gonna we're kind of making tracks and killing the weed a little bit. But uh, hopefully, from what I'm seeing, uh, we should be this this is gonna be really good for it. And I'm hoping we get it. We are doing it soon enough to protect the flag leaf and the hedge so that we can we can actually have a decent crop because I do think there's already some sort of a disease coming out. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of yellow and it's mostly down here in this bottom and there's that hillside over there. Um, it's all kind of that way. I don't know if you guys can see. But here and over there, they're kind of a hill. It kind of got a little yellow. I don't know if it was mosaic coming through or even in this area or um, just yeah, or some other disease. In, I don't know when it's when when it's drought like it is, and the conditions we've had. It, I, there are all kinds of things can happen, but it, it's looking good. So that's what we're doing, and hopefully we'll be in the planter soon. Um, but if it rains, I'm okay if it rains. We do need the moisture, but that's kind of what we're doing. Don't worry, guys. We didn't just abandon the planter. So. Hopefully we'll catch you over there. Pretty sight to see it back there. Finally made it to the field. Took a little longer than we thought. So... Yeah, we got that circles fertilized, or that top dress with a little bit of fungicide. Um, we were talking, they were talking rain. We had really good rain. And um, then two nights later, we had another, about another half inch across everything. So we had really good rainfall across it all. Uh, really very pleased with the moisture we got. So. We did finally get into planting corn. Oh, was it? This is, this is number two. Yesterday we got started. Had some troubles with the planter, but uh, mostly with the row unit, they're each disc. They just weren't fully shined up. The ground's a little, plenty moist. We're not too wet. We're 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 fine there, but uh, just took a little bit to get the blades to shine up, but. It's rolling good. We've actually gotten two circles done and just starting on the dry land. So, yeah, I know you guys probably think you missed a lot. Well, it really doesn't take long to plant with this 24 row planter. Um, I do about 30 acres an hour. Um, I can do more than that, but by the time you figure in all the turning and whatnot, it takes about 30 acres an hour. So, um, yeah, we're doing really good. I think 
Maybe it's more. I'm not really sure. I don't know. That's what I've been doing anyways. But we get a lot of acres done very quickly. It's a nice thing. Nice planter. Planter's running pretty good. Um, hopefully it stays that way. And we'll just keep on plucking through the acres. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's been pretty uneventful. I think we got finally got started May May 6th. Yeah, yesterday was May 6th. So normally, you know, around May 5th is when we start. I, I, I don't mind starting on the first. Um, and I would have, but the ground just wasn't ready. We were plenty wet. And uh, that's okay. It's much better. I am it's been so nice playing into moisture. I'm so thankful we got the rain. The wheat is looking much better, although I think it's a little bit of mosaic is what we're seeing out there. Uh, so that's kind of no fun, but hopefully it doesn't spread too much further and everything will be okay. Uh, on whole, all the fields look pretty good.